In this video we will show how the floor menu works. Go to the floor menu. When you build up your house or another property, you will draw a separate plan for every floor. Each floor can hold multiple designs. This way you can play around with the layout to do the actual interior planning and design. For instance, in this project I have two floors. In the first floor I have three different design layouts. In the second floor I have only one design. You can start a new empty floor with the Add Floor button. You can remove it with the trash bin. Sometimes it's smart to copy the floor so you can start the next floor with the wall layout of the floor below. That will save you a lot of work. Let's copy the second floor and rename it to third floor. So now we have three floors. There are two ways of saving variants. Let's go back to the second floor. Suppose you drew the plan of your second floor and you want to design a second option for the wall layout. You can make a copy of your design and start from there. Then you can go ahead, remove some walls and play around with the interior. But maybe you've already been playing around with the design and suddenly you decide to save this new variant while keeping the first one. Then you can use the Save As option over here. So if you press Save As, you can rename this design to third design and notice that it will appear over here in the floor menu. It can take some time for the thumbnail to be generated. Ah, now it's there. If you want to change the sequence of your floors, click on the settings button and now you can move it up or down. In this menu you can also change the ceiling height. If you want to have a ceiling height of 3 meters, enter 300 and now every wall in this plan will be 300 centimeters. We sometimes get questions from people who lost their design or they think they do. There can be several reasons for this. So in this video I'll try to help you out. Sometimes the thumbnail is not updated yet. Just click on every design there is until you find it. The thumbnail will usually update when you reload your project. Maybe you still can't find it because it's in a different floor than you opened the last time you worked in Floor Planner. Just open all the floors in your project to see if it's there. Are you still unable to find it? There may be other reasons why it doesn't show. Floor Planner stores your plans in the cloud in our online servers. But if at any time your internet connection was down, or maybe our servers had a problem, there is often a local backup stored on your computer. Another reason can be that your browser crashed the last time you were working on it. You might be able to find the most recent save back in the floor menu under this button. Click to see the version history of all locally stored versions. Then you can browse through them and restore one if necessary. If you are still unable to find your floor or design, go back to your dashboard and contact our support. We might be able to find it. Rotating or flipping your entire design. You can give your design an entire rotation or you can flip it horizontally or vertically. Click this button. Let's mirror this plan and rotate it 10 degrees. And there you go. You might have wondered what the star button is for. 
While every floor can have multiple designs, you will only use one design for presentation and publishing. If you click it, it will become the first design of the floor. It's useful because the start design will show up if you export your project with all floors or if you publish your floor plan. Publish options in Floor Planner are our viewer, our space planner, or you can have an embedded floor planner in a property portal like Funda.